So let's look at this. This is some funny shit here. Um, aside from the fact that I'm sitting here actually watching Lost in Space because that's what I feel like half the time trying to figure this shit out. Uh, so here's Churchill Downs this weekend. So you got a guy wearing gold, then blue, and then red. Okay. So let's look at let's look at let's read along, if you will, because this is a hoot. Race favorite Orb, Orb. Yes, I'm sure somebody named their horse Orb. Took the lead mon midday through the stretch to win the 139th. Ooh, there's your three and your nine. Running the Kentucky Derby on a sloppy track at Churchill Downs. Set off at 5:03. Orb passed Normandy Invasion. Anybody understand history? Do you remember what the Normandy Invasion was? It's when the U.S. and Britain invaded Germany. In the stretch. Held off long shot. This is this is this is sweet here. Golden Soul to give veterans trainer Shrug McGonhay his first victory in the in the run for the roses. <clears throat> Written by Joe Ros Rosario, the 213 Florida Derby champion finished <clears throat> in 2000 in 202. Okay, Golden Soul placed 34 with Revolutionary. So now we got Normandy Invasion here. <clears throat> You've got Normandy Invasion here. Revolution. See, this is all code. Falling to fourth. <clears throat> Ridden by three-time Derby winner Calvin Bor Borzell. I can't read that. Um, was a second at six to one. So there's a three six nine here too. But you've got Orb. You've got Normie Invasion. You've got Golden Soul, okay, which is the gold, the Golden Soul. It has to do with the age of the Golden Era <clears throat> of Saturn. You've got, I mean, come on, guys. Give me a break, will you? Revolutionary, Golden Soul, Normandy. What, what else do you need? Wait, I can, do, I can do this one better. One second, let me get the picture. Okay, this was the Golden Apple Award that was given on Thursday to a teacher in Chicago. Notice she's wearing yellow, yellow and purple, and she's got an L on her chest. And and here's here's our mayor wearing black and purple. That's indigo, so that's a Saturn color, and this is a Yahweh color, which is a Yahoo, which is Saturn as well. And here's the Golden Apple of the Return of the Golden Age of Saturn. You see, it's very easy to read this stuff. Really easy to read this stuff. It's ludicrously getting easy to read this stuff. Like I said, you figure out where this 369 is coming from? We know that at least in the, in the old days they were using tarot cards. Now it's probably been encoded in the computers. Who, where, who, who, where it's coming from and where it's going to, and you'll find the truth of what's going on in this reality. That's the reality. That's the truth movement, I'm telling you. Because now finally we have something that we can put our hands on and say, we can prove it in the news, we can prove it in old writings, it goes all the way back to the Bible and before that. So now we finally have something in this so-called truth movement that we can actually hang on to, that we can show numbers that are correlated with, with disasters, that are correlated with tarot cards, which has to do with spiritual, a spiritual aspect that's encoded in computers, this is the avenue to find it. I didn't find shit. I just pieced little things together until I, I ran across that picture by accident when I thought, when I did, remember the video where they said four burning houses? Houses are, are in astrology. Okay? And, and in the house, in houses are in tarot cards. So I just took, I just took a guess and I went in and I did a, I researched for uh, houses in, in tarot cards and I, I ran across that thing. So big break, but isn't it interesting if you look at that thing because it's um, if we look at this thing here, it's night. So this three is day, this height is night, and it's interesting because here you have 33, 66, and 99, right? It's interesting. This is the night, like the dark night rising, right? All this is sacrifice. All those three six nine stories are are people getting killed. Okay. Hurricane Sandy hit New York at six at six oh one p.m. 
Okay, now, I'm sure that's not what this means. I'm just saying it's very interesting to me. So finally, finally, we got something to lock into this. At least we've got something to work with. Now, we got to figure out who's pushing it and who's receiving it. And, and then we'll be to the next step. Because what this thing is, it's, you remember the Kabbalistic Tree of Life I showed you? It's basically that thing turned into this thing. And these are gears, each one of these rings. And when they move, you get different codes, you get different combinations, different things. It's like playing a card game. You know, the people call these things these Illuminati cards. No, this is the Illuminati cards right here. These are the real Illuminati cards, not that bullshit they're showing you. These, right here. And they probably have this thing worked out into a real nice computer-coded graphics and everything else. Now, who's carrying this shit out? Is this being carried out by humans that are just being given directions? Or is this really happening from some other, some other realm and it's, it's, uh, it's afflicting this one? I don't know. But we've got to keep working on this until we, get, until we figure it out.